working okay. Hello everyone, my name is Will Graham. It is uh, 3 in the morning. I'm somewhere in France. I'm making this video to talk to you about a project that I'm working on these days. It's called Hannibal Crack. It's basically a musical based on, well, my life and the life of people who knew Hannibal Lecter or me. So yeah, sadists are rewriting our lives in a funny way and are making us do this again in front of camera so they can make a movie about it. Hannibal dragged me into this and we got told that we had to make a presentation of the project for you guys together. At first I didn't want to, if I'm to be honest. I seriously didn't understand why people would even watch this. How is this funny? How? Can people find our lives funny? But, uh, well, let's just say that Hannibal and the writers had serious arguments. Okay, say hello. Hey. Hannibal named her encephalitis. Hey. As I am a man of my word, I had to make the video. How could I resist? Look at this little face. I know what you're thinking. You must be wondering, where's Hannibal? Well, someone got offended earlier because I suggested that we ate pineapple pizza. He said it was inappropriate. He's a cannibal, for God's sake. How is pineapple pizza inappropriate when you eat people? Huh. I think pineapple is good on pizza. So it's not the first Hannibal musical out there, the director directed the first one that was performed on stage in London last February at the Starfury event, the Red Dragon Convention. It was a great success and I... well, I thought maybe it would be a great idea to join the second one and see where it goes. You can find all the songs and some of the pictures that people took from the first show in this same YouTube channel. But believe me or not, but I think that I mean, for people who didn't actually leave the story themselves, the movie might actually be pretty funny. In a twisted, cruel kind of way, I guess. So what is this movie going to be exactly? Hannibal Crack is a lot of things. It's a tribute to your favorite show, it's a parody, it's a, it will be a succession of short comedy scenes that will last one to four minute tops. Uh, it's a musical, you'll find music clips, uh, medleys, rock, rap, Broadway. Our scenarists took popular songs and rewrote the lyrics so that they could tell our story in a funny way. We want this project to be a big funny ball celebration. The script was written thinking of funny balls, making a lot of references to the funny ball culture and the memes and all the in jokes that we had in the film. So, of course, we have to get the technical equipment to film the movie, but we are also hunting for the most accurate costumes and locations. Our locations hunter are finding amazing locations in Europe so that we can film the movie properly. You can join us in the hunt if you want, it's actually pretty funny. Here's what we have found already. We really hope you guys will be as excited as we are for this. We are also going to reproduce some of the murder tableaus that you can see in the show. And unlike someone, we are making sure that no one will be harmed in the process. The whole crew comes from all over the world, mostly from Europe, but some of us are coming from the US to work on this project. We all want to serve you only the best, pun intended. And now I am making puns too, imagine that. That's what happens when you live with Honey Wolf and too long, right? Right? <laughs> we wanted to take a moment to thank our first 74 backers, who raised more than 4,000 for this project already. This is huge. Thank you. Thank you so much. We owe you all. And we will love you forever and ever. And ever and ever and ever. And ever and ever and ever and ever. If you are interested in this project and you want to join the ranks of our dear backers, you won't just get our love, you will get amazing rewards. We hope you find something you like in there. Here's the list for you. But one of our biggest rewards will be this. A DVD of the movie when it will be done. The cover was made by Wild Snail Art, an amazing funny artist. You can check her stuff out on Twitter. 
Uh, she graciously accepted to do the cover for us. It's so she's not the only funny ball artist participating to this. Several artists joined us uh, to help make what I call the Storyboard Initiative Booklet. The booklet will feature art from all those different artists. Its goal is to show uh, diversity in the fandom. Uh, it's a celebration of how amazing all of those artists are and they're going to take bits of the storyboard and redraw them in their own style. I, I can't wait personally to have one. It's going to be great. Those illustrations will also be available on goodies such as postcards, stickers, badges, mugs, pillows. In the biggest tiers, there's also Skype reviews with the team that we can set up uh, towards maybe June or July of uh, 2018. It would be our pleasure to welcome you guys to see the movie with us. One of the rewards will be to actually co-write a Hannibal song with us. You pick the song, we meet on Skype and write the lyrics together. Then, when everyone is satisfied, one of our singers will sing the song for you. So, in order to bring you all something truly worth it, we will need the help and the support of everyone within the Hannibal community. Hannibal said he would really love to help, but since everyone knows his mother, psycho, cannibal, etc, 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 all his bank accounts have been frozen, which really doesn't help, so... Every pledge, even the smallest pledge, will bring us closer to our goal, which is 10,000 euros. We know it's a big, big amount, but we also know that funny balls can do anything. Even 10 or 5 euros would help. Uh, we really, really need everyone to come together to make this a reality. It's such a big dream for us and we hope it's going to be interesting to you guys as well. Hannibal told me you would only consider doing this if I said please. I say pretty please. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time in the movie.